Hi, and welcome to Baz Bytes. My name is Matt Okuma. I'm a systems architect at Cisco, and today I'm going to be covering a really cool topic around our Cisco Meraki MV uh, video surveillance cameras. Really slick uh, little devices. The next I call the next generation of video surveillance. We're going to get into some of those. Uh, basic features, if you guys uh, have not been exposed to these yet, um, these are really catching storm in the industry and, and taking over the traditional big um, video surveillance systems that have DVR or you know DVR recorders, lots of equipment, lots of stuff. Um, using these uh, cameras, we like to call them sensors now, that are solving problems in, in your businesses and in your facilities versus video surveillance cameras. But today I'm going to be covering an update on features with the cameras that have come out since January and also cover stuff that's coming out in this midsummer time frame. So let's dive in here and take a look at these new features. So let's take a look at the uh, MV update. So first off, let's just do a level set on the MV smart camera lineup. So starting on the left, we have the MV32 fisheye camera. It's uh, really cool. It, it does a 360 degree view and we'll actually get into a couple of the uh, new features in the video wall that have been released with the MV32, which will actually save you a lot if you have a lot large area to cover. Um, the MV12, the MV22, and the MV72, it's an outdoor platform. And I, and I have you know one here that you could see is this very sleek, very small, very nice um, form. The, the packaging is really nice. The mounting of the cameras is actually really, really easy, lightweight. Um, and one thing about the cameras is the level set, they do have onboard storage so, and just the Meraki managed directly from the Meraki dashboard and I'll probably do a following uh, Bazbyte on the Meraki dashboard and showing you what that looks like with the MV. Today I'll just step you through the features with some animation demo of, of the actual new features to the cameras. But the architecture, like I said, is the, the cameras, they're cloud managed, the, the storage is distributed across the cameras. Um, and the storage is locally, it's encrypted on startup, so you literally eliminate just truckloads of uh, video surveillance gear um, with the, as compared to the older systems that had large servers and DVRs and storage at every single site. And um, the cost just astronomically went up and very hard to, to manage centrally when you talk about having hundreds of facilities or 200 stores, etc., with 50, 60 cameras a store. And, um, you know, so, so this architecture is just, like I said, catching, catching storm out there. Um, multiple customers, people, or just tons of interest, people moving towards this. Um, and I think we've done a really good job kind of reinventing video surveillance. So, like I said in the intro, focusing on solving problems, not building features into the camera. Sometimes you see lots of little pinpoint features that are cool, but we actually really engineer around solving your problems at your facilities and your stores through using something like video surveillance, but using it more of a sensor in the store to solve multiple problems. So let's dive into kind of the new products and features for the first half of this year with the MV lineup. First off, there is two new cameras, the MV X series. Big thing about these, they're very similar to the MV22 and MV72. The, but the big thing is they have 512 gigs of storage now. That's twice the amount of storage. And they actually get to store up to 90 days on uh, you know a little camera like this without the need of anything else um, externally. So very, very, very cool. Um, the amount of storage is just... It really fits in that window what people are looking. Three months of storage with motion enabled recording is, you know, a ton and that's continuous um continuous video, right? So that's a lot on the new series. So first big feature, um scheduled exports. So scheduled exports, this is a screenshot of what it looks like in the Meraki dashboard. You can actually schedule exports. Um, this helps do the exports, let's say, in an off, off window. Sometimes if you're doing a large window, three, four hours of video, you know, that takes a long time to get it out from the camera into a format that needs to, to be exported and rendered and stitching all the images together. So this feature allows you to stagger the exports from multiple cameras and have them start overnight, start at different times, just to minimize the 
the bandwidth um, consumption uh, during peak hours. So a very cool feature, um, very simple to use. Um, the other one is quality and retention profiles. So this is actually really slick. So say you're going to set up a new store, new facility, 50 to 100 cameras. You can have different profiles for like in this instance, entrance cameras, hallway cameras, have their settings set. And then you just select the cameras and apply this profile to them. So you're not clicking and setting all the settings individually. So it allows you to rapidly, you know, roll out and manage your cameras on the settings that you want for them. So another really, really cool feature is external live video sharing. This is rolling through an example. Um, we could just click down on the camera, share stream externally, put in an email address. It could also be a a text link if you knew how to text mobile phones with a with an email and it will temporarily share the live video of that specific camera externally so this comes to mind like capabilities needed to like let's say share um, live streams f with law enforcement say there's you know actor shooter preparedness things like that you can actually share these links and people can view the cameras externally um, you can Disable the link anytime. I think default is 24 hours, the link will be live. So very, very simple to use. Very neat to be able to share the video and get those into things like law enforcement and others that need to have a direct link into there that you do business with or typically aren't a part of your, your company that could get into the dashboard. Uh, another one here which was added is area of interest for motion-based retention. So <clears throat> this really extends, this could really extend the storage capabilities of cameras as well. So say if you have a specific area with an object of interest, you can draw a selection around that and say only record motion when that when there's motion within that specific area of interest and a view of a camera. So really just fine tuning of granular capabilities, but really helps uh, enhance that motion based retention. And you know, motion events that occur outside the area, you know, select regions, they'll, they'll, they'll not be retained after 72 hours, but this will allow you to retain areas of interest. Here we have some coffee machines and things in our, um, you know, demo, demo cameras that are, when people go up to a coffee machine, we'll get that motion just in as an example. Full, full frame snapshot API. Won't spend much time here, but just developing, just know that we're developing, continue developing the API. It's very robust for the MV series to allow you to do and solve those business problems. This one's just showing that we've added full frame rate snapshot API that you can grab snapshots from the camera and integrate them into any workflow or, or business problem solving that you're doing. Another one um, that I think is really neat just because security is top of mind um, whenever you're surveilling or doing any type of recording this um, we've enhanced the video access audit log to include who's accessing the video what they're viewing and from where which is you know really really good to have audit logs um, so you could fully more full, fully utilize the system and show that you have controls over what's going on in it so this one's actually really cool as some animation runs through so that fisheye camera um, i have one right here that i told you guys about you know, this would mount like this. It would give that 360 degree view of the room. You can actually on the video wall now take that as the animation is doing and add snapshots of the view of the 360 degree camera to a video wall. So really getting multiple angles from that one camera, solving a lot of problems in one little small uh, camera is really, really slick. So that's what the animation is showing you, selecting the view and then adding it to the de-warped wall. Big feature there. People love that. Also, more enhanced uh, improvements to the video wall, syncing time, um, the change logs for the video wall are in that change log that I showed you now. Um, and also permissions uh, affect the visibility of the wall. So more granular controls on who could see what in the video wall. Another big one as we see these rolling out and and retail and, and different things like that, there is the next generation cameras the, the second gen uh, MVs have Bluetooth radios in them. So first they're scanning, but they will eventually have the same capabilities as our APs so that you can leverage BLE, um, BLE in, in your environment 
as those you know different location and engagement capabilities make sense in your environment so really building some really relevant things into the camera to make it a uh, sensor i keep saying that to solve business problems but um, not just a video camera we're making sure we're solving other problems by having this single device so people are really gravitating towards that it's really different than normal video surveillance systems actually machine learning so where we added some features in to pick the mode um, so you can select different machine learning modes there's a second one here to help person detection which will come in and as we build upon those features as you want to count people in stores keep interest in actions of people alert on just people movement and not objects or things blowing in the wind very neat feature I i'm really excited to see how we build out the machine learning capabilities so this one here is, is a neat one. So we have introduced RTP, uh, RTSP. It's a standard for real-time video streaming. So we've allowed the Meraki video surveillance cameras to stream out natively to a uh, third-party system to collect video streaming. So helps you increase your storage capabilities or just consume the videos and do different things with them. So really nice that we're opening it up and not you know keeping it proprietary or whatever um, this allows for a lot of options and our customers really like that so in conclusion i think i just said cameras as a sensor for the enterprise not just a tool for security um, that's really you know what i see the plot that we're doing with the meraki the meraki cameras here and I'm looking forward to doing more Baz Bytes on the video surveillance because I really think what we're doing is, is game changing. And so I'm going to be mounting some of these um, in, my, in my home and trying out some of the advanced use cases and I'll, I'll get demos of them so we could show off and maybe they can help solve some of your business problems that you have in your uh, company you work for or just any other problems you're trying to solve for um, your company. Thank you. Mm -hmm.